Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you out there viewing this video who's about to learn something. But anyway, if you're into, um, what's that word called that we always say in school? Make inferences, inferences. <laughs> if you are good at making inferences and you learn that in grade school, you can infer that today we are talking about none other than the talented, talented, Pop artist Andy Warhol. Why did I put him in quotations, you ask? Because a lot of people feel like Andy Warhol was really not that talented. He was just good at selling himself. I mean, I wish I was half as good as Andy Warhol was at selling himself, but a lot of people question his skill and how really good he was. Simply because he had a factory and the team of people who would create all his stuff, all he had to do was sign it sometimes. And at other times, he didn't even have to sign it. They would sign it for him. But anyway, Andy Warhol, the pop artist wasn't born Andy Warhol. His actual name was Andrew War Warhol, but he dropped the A and dropped the uh, Ru and added a Y. So as that you can see on my Campbell Soup Cam, we're gonna draw today a Andy Warhol inspired Campbell 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 Soup Can. So we're gonna start by drawing an oval at the top, and this will be like the top of. Well, it's a very crooked oval, but it doesn't matter. But anyway, Andy Warhol was born on August 6, 1928, and he died on February 22, 1987, in his home, not in his home, actually. But he died in New York at the age of 58, but he died because he went into for gallbladder surgery, and during the surgery, something went wrong, and he died. So now you're going to add two uh, lines on each side. Anyway, but uh, Andy Warhol's parents went from Slovakia. Isn't that where Donald Trump's wife is? From Slovakia? No, Slovenia. Slovenia, Slovenia, Slovakia. Same thing, right? No, shut are, up. Are they even close to each other? I don't know. I'm really good at geographical studies. But anyway, I thought she was so Slovenia, Slovenia. Hi to everyone in Slovenia and Slovakia. <laughs> I don't know if they're the same thing. Huh? I'll, I'll just Google it. Google it because Slovenia, Slovakia, or how close they are to each other. So now we're going to add a bottom line, but round it off a little bit because it's like the bottom of the can. Oh, they're two different places. They're close to each other, but they're two different places. Well, what other countries are around them? I thought you pulled up the map. <laughs> no, I just... What are you waiting? Close to Italy and stuff like that. Okay, bring this line around and then take it to the other side. Well, like her to call it, Andy Warhol got some weird disease when he was young, so he had to rest in bed for a while. Also, like Jean Michel Basquiat, who was ran over by a car, and he spent some time in bed recuperating. Henry Matisse, also, actually, something happened to him, and he had to spend some time in bed. And it's crazy, I didn't realize it was that many, so it was Andy Warhol. Frida Kahlo, Jean-Michel Basquiat, and Henry Matisse all had something during their childhood that they had to spend a lot of time in bed, and that's when their initial interest in art became because they're trying to kill time. Now people play video games or watch TV, but back then they didn't. See, if you're ever in bed and you can't do anything, do not watch TV because you never know what that boredom can bring out of you. And if you watch TV, you'll never know because you'll never be bored. Right? So be bored. It could cause greatness. Anyway. Enough with my rant. You're gonna add another line down here. You know what? I feel like Andy Warhol because he had the white hair. Oh yeah. He had the white hair. Had the Andy Warhol spirit in you. Oh, I uh. wish, but his his were wigs because his hair was falling out. Hey, my hair's falling. Out. <laughs> <laughs> my hair's falling out too. Wow. I'm like Andy Warhol right now because he used to love wearing different types of wig and his most iconic wig was a white one. But anyway, I wasn't a big fan of Andy Warhol either just because of the sense that he didn't do all of his works, you know? Other people did it for him, but they were his ideas and I like the idea that he brought um, normal everyday objects into like the realm of high art like the Campbell soup can and the banana and... 
things like that. And he was obsessed with celebrity, which I think is something that still happens today. People are obsessed with celebrities. People are obsessed with Kardashians. People are obsessed with... Who else? I don't know. I don't get obsessed because I don't watch TV. David Alegre. People are obsessed with David Alegre. But only people in Mexico. Talia. But, Anaí. No, but people in America, who are they obsessed with? Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, Taylor Swift, and her love life. Like, people are still, to this day, obsessed with celebrity. And I think Andy Warhol kind of... Andy Warhol, it's your fault that people are obsessed with celebrity. Because you were obsessed with being a celebrity. He was obsessed with fame and being... And money. And, you know, he got it all. So kudos to him. So down here, we're going to write the word soup. There's your S. Um, at, and then the O. Andy Warhol was really good friends with John Michel Basquiat. I think he might have even been responsible for his discoverment. Is that a word, discovering? Discoverment? Mm -hmm. But um, actually, when Andy Warhol died, uh, it affected John Michel Basquiat a lot. And he went into a deep depression, and shortly after was when he had his overdose. He was also friends with one of my favorites, uh, Keith Haring. But Andy Warhol and and John Michel Basquiat actually collaborated. And when I saw John Michel Basquiat exhibition in Bilbao, Spain, I saw some of the works that he did with Andy Warhol. But anyway, that that whole show that they did together got, got horrible reviews. And even when I saw the pieces, I'm like, I wasn't very thrilled to see. I mean, I was thrilled to see them, but when I saw, I'm like, ugh. I didn't really think they were great. But after that, Basquiat went into a heavy depression, and people believe that Basquiat was used by Warhol because Basquiat was up and coming and things like that, and that Warhol was kind of his way out, so we kind of like used him to propel himself or bring himself back in the limelight. But kind of like how people use each other and date each other to get attention in the celebrity world. But anyway, on top of the word soup, we're going to add the tomato word, because this tomato soup, this doesn't even have a word. What kind of soup is this? Campbell? Well, but it doesn't oh, say what flavor. flavor. No. Oh. I bought this at Urban Out, not Urban Outfitters. Yes, Urban Outfitters. I forgot the flavor of the soup. But anyway, just tomato and like bubble letters or block letters. So Andy Warhol was also a filmmaker. I don't think he was very good at making films because he would videotape things, people like sleeping. His movie Sleep is like six hours of like people sleeping and who wants to watch that? And then he had like videos of him eating a hamburger, which I love hamburgers, but I don't want to watch anybody eat it, especially if I'm not eating it. So no, I'm not a fan of his movies. I saw some of his Polaroids he used to take. And, uh, uh, like, see, I just, I just don't think... What I do think was great, like when I saw the exhibition on his soup cans, and he did lots of them, and I think these initially were painted, and I thought that was really good, because when I initially did the sketches for this drawing, it was really hard to draw the letters and to get them precisely correct and things like that. So there I kind of felt a little bit of respect for him, but I mean, I don't even know. If they were still screened, I, I don't know to what level of commitment he was involved in his painting so therefore that's why I'm on the fence about Andy Warhol but what I do admire about him was the fact that he was able to create a persona about him you know he became a celebrity and people were drawn to him and that guy wasn't very attractive by any means then right here again you a circle this is like this and he was actually he was a fan of Picasso, and if you see a lot of Andy Warhol in photographs, he always had the striped shirts. Well, he got that from Picasso because Picasso put those shirts um, in style, like the little nautical shirts. With the and I actually I have like three or four of them, but that was very Picasso inspired. And actually, when um, Picasso was asked what he thought of Warhol, his uh, <laughs> what he said was, and it's so funny, and Warhol like thought it was funny too that he would only he would only use his paintings to piss on them. Or pee on them. Can I say piss? Well, yeah. 
Picasso. No, never mind. I'm lying. It wasn't Picasso. It was Dali. Picasso was already dead. It was Dali. Referred to uh, warehouse paintings as just usable for urine. And they make the line here and here. On top of here, we're going to write the word condensed, which I don't know what that means. Condensed, that means it's like very chunky, like you have to add water to... What does condensed mean? It's uh, thick. Thick, right? Kind of, yeah. I feel very condensed now because I haven't been working out. <laughs> <laughs> this is a condensed version of me. But somehow almost condensed is like compact to me. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then I'm not condensed. <laughs> Now we're going to write Campbell's, and it's in uh, cursive, so if you don't know how to do bubble letters in cursive, I recommend you just write it out and then just like trace around it. Uh, like I said, he was obsessed with celebrity, and he had a lot of celebrity friends. He did a lot of Marilyn Monroe paintings. The president, not the president. Yeah, I don't know if he's called the president of um, South Korea. Um, Michael Jackson, Che Guevara, Liz Taylor, amongst others. I think this marker might be too thick. But anyway, I saw a documentary about him on YouTube and it talked about how his house was looted after his death. So a lot of things were taken like from their in his family, like his actual brothers might have only inherited like a hundred thousand dollars from his whole estate. Why? Because he didn't have a will. And a lot of he had since he had a lot of people around him, a lot of like when he died a lot of people looted and took things out of there. Wow. That's crazy. So if you should always have a will. You know what? I don't have a will. I need to make a will. Who's going to keep my paintings when I die? I hope me. <laughs> and then my apartment gets looted too. Oh. <laughs> By Tay Tay and Vanessa. Vanessa steals it all. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully one day... I would find it very flattering if when I die, my place gets looted just because they're after my work. Like one time I got a painting stolen out of an art show. <gasps> and I was really excited. I and mean, we're going to add a line down here. Because I was flattered. Like, wow, well, they liked my painting so much that they felt it necessary to steal it. Yeah. Like, whoa, well, I've made it. I've gotten a painting stolen. That's good. So now we're going to mimic the same line around. I hate that noise. It's like nails on the chalkboard. I like it. You like the noise? Mm -hmm. And you're just going to add another line right here. An oval. Well, somewhat of an oval. If I'm going too fast, just slow me down and just add more lines in here. It doesn't matter how many. This is like the tin. And then we have our Campbell's Condensed Tomato Soup Can. Tell me what you think about Andy Warhol. Like I said in my other video, Andy Warhol was very inspired by Rene Magritte. Um, and he obviously loved the costume because he stole you know, his iconic look with those nautical shirts. Uh, he did spend some time with Dali when Dali went to the U.S. And um, I mean, I'm on the fence. I think he did, a, I mean, I'm talking about him, so he did something right. And he's, till this day, he's, you know, recognized. And as long as you see a Campbell soup can, you're going to think of Andy Warhol. And he actually did really love Campbell soup cans. This was one of his favorite meals. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Go to my other channel and watch my video in Bilbao, the museum. I saw, like, a show of his shadows, silk screens he did. Um, check that out. Uh, share, like. It's on another channel. It's on another playlist. Or you have what did a, I say? Go to my other channel. No, <laughs> go to my other videos. <laughs> <laughs> and when I went to Bilbao Spin, I saw one of his um, 
series of paintings, shadows. I mean, it was... Just check it out. I'm not going to tell you what I think. <laughs> Anyway, adios y bye. Until next time.